So a little impact development, I think, is very important. And oftentimes, to have such big ideas come into practice and actually be implemented, you need the push from the community. So you have to educate the, the people that live there in order to then push for it to happen at a lot of the sites and facilities where it could. Um, so by engaging people in the communities, I think it's great to create this buzz, to create this environment that then hopefully the city council and the city professionals will listen to and then implement more throughout. So I think it's really important for engagement. What we want to do is backfill just a few shovels at a time all the way around and then come through with your feet or with a tool and make sure that we tamp that soil really I'm hard. proud to say that my wife worked very, very hard on getting this through Clean Air Cab with the city of Mesa and with the Mesa Urban Gardens. She's worked over two and a half years. She makes it sound like it was just a little bit of time. Two and a half years to have this happen. And I can only tell you through the success of this that it'll encourage her to do more and look out and seek more opportunities in the city to beautify a little tiny portion of it and make it, you know, vitalize the community around it. It is really important we're finding that, you know, we're, to really start to clean that water before it reaches those areas, to take advantage of it, kind of basically you're providing a beneficial reuse before, you know, you're not just whisking the water away as wastewater, we're taking it and we're using it in the landscape. So not only is it benefiting the, the plants that are in the landscape by cutting this curb, making the curb cuts, allowing that stormwater to uh, infiltrate into the landscapes, then that water, as it does percolate through the soil, gets filtered and it cleans that water up as well as providing the benefits to the plants. When water is managed properly, these type of techniques help to slow the water, slow the flow, sink it, and then spread it, and that helps to build better trees and coverage and things like that. So the reason that I think we should do that is to um, help to manage our water, because when we're not slowing it, spreading it, and sinking it, it's creating a lot of problems. There's many facets to low impact development and green infrastructure. One is we are helping to reduce the amount of stormwater that uh, goes into the drain. And so at this, um, if you can imagine the street lines of this type of practice where we're harvesting stormwater into these bioretention basins that are going to help support vegetation. So we're helping to take the pollution at little micro levels as it's going down before it goes in the stormwater system and then out falls into the repairing area. It also will help reduce the amount of gray infrastructure. So thinking of the big stormwater systems, what they have to develop to be able to get that water off site because you know it's concern of flooding and there's you know, the liability behind that. So the green infrastructure helps with the, the stormwater, but it also helps clean up pollution. You know, we've been able to get our engineering department involved and our transportation department because transportation oversees landscapes such as this. Engineering, they're the ones that have to do all the, all the specs and standards and everything to make sure it's done properly. Um, so we're, part of this is helping to educate our own city and our city members and everything to start doing this. The other thing that we, we were fortunate to uh, uh, get a, another grant that's helping us put together what we're calling a, a low impact development toolbox. Uh, and that being kind of just a, a booklet that's going to help developers incorporate these types of, of projects. I think to create awareness through workshops like this, maybe through advertising, maybe working with like the water suppliers and energy suppliers to maybe do some pushes would be great to educate people so they can know what to do. Uh, because it's really easy to harvest water on your site and use it and have low impact development. Whether you're doing it on a city street like this or whether you're doing it on your driveway or the walkway that goes to your front door, there's a lot of opportunities people need to know that those exist. We pave over all of our desert soils with cement and concrete, and so this is a way, again, part of a small solution that we can find that water to penetrate and to fill our soils, thus bringing a healthier community because actually a lot revolves around the soil.